Hi guys, good to have you all back. And in case you're new to my channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands and I do paper crafting junk journal stuff. Guys, if you have not seen yesterday's video, go check that one out first because this is like a part two. You could have it as a standalone, that's okay. But if you want to see how I made this beauty, it's an envelope flippy floppy thingy journal with all sorts of, you know, stuff on it. Go watch the first video. I will link that one below. Yes. And now if you did watch yesterday's video. Welcome back guys. Uh, we're going to do a lot of embellishing today. I'm going to make tags, pockets, maybe some more flips. Do all sorts. I had a long uh, think about it last night. And I have lots of new ideas. So that is what we're going to do today. I have saw I have saved some scrappy bits from the, the project that we did yesterday. Maybe I want to use it. I also have all the embellishments um, left that we're gonna use. But I did something else, guys. I printed it out again because I have ideas. I have ideas. However, what I did was I printed most of the kit to to a page. Yeah. This is normally one big page and now I printed two of them to one page, which will make them smaller. Yeah, that's sort of the idea. Also, this one I printed two to a page and this one and these, this is the freebie. I even printed three, uh, four to a page. However, there are just uh, three elements on there, but that's okay. I could have printed one of these. Uh, for two page now most of you will be like well not even most of you some of you will be like what four to a page two two page what are you on about margaret uh, i can imagine if you're not used to printing this is all like gibberish to you however guys i have tried to make a small tutorial on how to do this how to print two uh, pages to one page or four page to one page yeah I've, I filmed my computer, not very professionally, I might add, but hey, it's better than nothing. Uh, I am working with a Windows computer, so I am not printing from my iPad, from a MacBook, or I have no clue how those work. Also, my computer is, of course, in Dutch, because I am Dutch, everything is in Dutch. Uh, but I do some translating, so it'll be fine. So I made a small clip. You're going to watch it right now if you like i already know how to do this uh, skip to the next chapter it uh, chapter it will be okay so while you are watching my small tutorial on how to print two to a page four to a page nine to a page 35 to a page if you want to i am going to cut all of this out yeah so wish me luck hi guys i want to give you a very quick tutorial on how to print two to a page four to a page nine to a page i i believe they even have 35 to a page yes because i get a lot of questions about this now mind you i am dutch everything on my computer is dutch i am using windows yeah not the newest newest version but windows so i don't have a mac or anything so i don't use um, that system now um i'm going to show you how i'm going to print let me see if can you follow my cursor these three i want to print these three a lot smaller so all of them all of these three will fit to a page now in order to do so we need to select four to a page unfortunately there's no option that says three to a page however you could select four if you wanted to but i just want to have these three a little bit smaller yeah now what i am doing now is with my cursor see i'm just pressing the left um, mouse button and i'm dragging over it so i have selected all of these three yeah you could also do this while holding the control button so smart now all of these three are selected then i do um and then i click on my right uh, mouse button then this bit comes up. I'm sorry, I have to move you in. This is all Dutch, guys. So I'm going to try to translate it. It's probably going to be there. And it will say print. Yes. This will say print. So look for print. I'm going to press this. And then a new window pops up. I'm going to move you. I have a very large screen, guys. So 
unfortunately I have to move you over. Now you only see one, but here it says page one of three. Well, in your language, it should say page one of three. If we, if we click here, you can scroll through the three pages that you have selected. Now there's an option here. It probably says fit to page. I, I believe so. If I click this, see, they become smaller. So you can have them larger or smaller. I'm going to have them in this setting. Now we're going to move over here again. This is like a scroll thingy. Yes. All the options are here, just in case you didn't know. This one, it just says print the full page. This one says print to two page because it has a number two in the brackets. And this will say probably inches. In centimeters, this will print 13 by 18 centimeters. Uh, there's also an option uh, where you can print in smaller sizes to two page. Now, if we scroll down, there's another option says one to a page, but then smaller. This is 20 by 25 centimeters. Yours will probably say inches. This is the other option that says print to two page. See, there's a two in the brackets here, 10 by 15 centimeters. Now the last one, well, the last one I'm gonna show you is four to a page, and that is nine by 13 centimeters. Well, let me just, you know, you can do nine to a page and you can do 35 to a page. Uh, I wouldn't use the last one unless you're making poster stamps. So I'm just going to select the option for to page. Now, this page will show you how it will print. See, I'm missing one spot here, but that's okay. You can also alter this by clicking this. Full page, small page, full page, small page. See, select whatever you want. Now, uh, there's a lot of, over here that is uh, connected to your actual printer. I have no clue what you're using, so I am not going to do anything with this. I normally change out if I'm using like heavier paper or just copy paper. And you can also adjust the, the quality of the paper, like standard or high quality or what have you. Uh, I have a very, very good printer. I always just use um, standard. Yeah, and then this says probably says print. So I'm gonna press print and then it's going to print. Yeah, while it's printing, can you hear it? Let's select a one that has two two page. I want to do these two or the, the bottom ones. I'm gonna do these two, two two page. Why am I doing this? Because I just want them to be smaller. Again, I'm going to select print this would say print I'm gonna go over here i am selecting two two page see it will look like this do we want it bigger smaller let's have it this no let's have it bigger there you go and again i'm just going to print yeah let me show you the print there you go see this is at four to a page so they're a lot smaller um, and then you can make lovely tags. So let's see the other one as well. Yay! So it's just smaller. It's just one size uh, smaller. It's like at 50%. Hoping this will help, guys. Um, let me know if you have any more problems. Well, I hope that was educational. I cut everything out. Now, um, on my desk is paper, just normal copy paper. Um, sort of heavier paper, 160 grams, and also uh, the papers that I printed to two page, I also backed them with some coffee dyed paper or something in that uh, region. So I'm gonna start first with just you know some simple decorating. I'm gonna start from the front. I really want to have one of these on here because I absolutely love those. Am I gonna do inking? Uh, I guess so. Freight burlap, freight burlap. Let me get the right dauber for this. Oh, I used, um, what did I use on this? Walnut stain, something? No, that's okay. Doesn't have to be the exact same. I do not want to have it like so. 
that just doesn't look good to me. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to put it, glue it on the inside, just so, flipping it over. Flipping it over for a bit. Not over the whole bit, of course, because then it's not a pocket anymore. So here we go. Let's see if we can fold this in. Probably can. See, there we go. And it leaves for a much smoother edge. And that's what I was going for. There you go. Just this one. Now, I'm going to open it up. <clears throat> I'm not going to do anything to this or this, guys. It's already really beautiful. I do want something sort of peeking out on the bottom. What are we going to use? One of these? Yeah? Yeah. Sure. Why not? Because I have loads. Yes. Just peeking out underneath. There you go. See? That just looks interesting. Well, it does to me. It does to me. Um, not touching this. Are we maybe a small sort of thingy? Let's do a small thingy. Why not? Oh, I backed this one. Why did I back them? Because I think maybe I want to have some of them as tabs or... I don't know. I'm going to flip it over. What are we going to do on the back here? Um, um, probably another label. Do we have some without the backing? Probably do. But where? <laughs> well, or one of these. Oh yeah, let's do one of these. I'm still using everything, everything from the kit, guys. I have not added anything else. I will, however, do some stamping. I'm going to do some stamping. But first, let's put all these lovelies down. Do we want something here? Um, yes. Like a small one. Just to break this up a little bit. I'm going to do some stamping here. What are we going to do here? Something round, maybe? No, that's basically the same color. Uh, what else do we have? Well, we have loads. Maybe one of those. Oh yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Fantastic. I love decorating. It just, it's so relaxing. Okay, so we did this whole flappy. We did this one. Uh, let's go back here. I'm going to do a lot on this one. I'm just going to put it like so, because that works better for me. This is actually a pocket. So we also need to make um, a journal card or a tag that goes in it. But first, I want to decorate the front. Let's see, I think I want to have this one on here, already inked it. Are we going to leave this and put some numbers in? I'm going to try. Yes, I'm going to have this one on here. I'm sorry if you can hear my stomach growling. I need lunch. There we go. Put this on here. I'm going to do some stamping and I actually want sort of a tab to open this up. And I was thinking I have these two because I printed these two to a page. They're now really, really small. So I was thinking I'm going to put one on the front. Have it stick out. Yeah. And then put this one on the back. And I believe they will match up because I did that previously in another video. These are the same size. So There you go. See? I made a lovely tab. Just to open the flap up. So cute. 
Uh, do you want to put something here that will peek out? Well, we may have a gazillion of these, so probably gonna do one of these. Do I have one that doesn't have the backing? Yes. Just this one over here. Yeah, sure. When I decorate these sort of projects, I always look, um, I always check how it will look when we do the flappies, when it's underneath here. I really like it. So could have done it here, but then it completely disappears from view. So that's why I done it this way. Opening it up, um, this page doing nothing. Of course not. We already made this. This is very, very lovely. Also here, we've made a beautiful sort of collage. I think I want to have a pocket here. Um, already used this as a pocket somewhere. So I was thinking maybe we can do this one. What do you think? I think so. I was just thinking. I was hoping I printed this on the heavier cardstock. Unfortunately, I didn't. But that's okay. It's not going to house uh, a lot of papers in it. It's just going to hold a tag or, or something. So yeah. Um, art, where you at, lovey? For this, I am taking out art glitter glue because I just want a small strippy. I printed these on something um, that didn't work, like a misprint. So the image on the back is not in the kit. A pocket, a little bit floating. I want something here. Like this, sure. Yes. So this will need a tag or a journal card or something. I also want to do something over here. I have one of the ladies cut out. Her somewhere. Oh, here. Here she is. I think I want to have her on here. And... Um, with one of those, because she's apparently from Paris. What was her name? Sophie and Carol. Right? Was it Sophie? I don't. I don't remember anymore. You probably do. And then this. Yes. And we can do maybe some stamping on here. go and this goes here yes i need to cut this by hand of course it's an oval i don't have oval i'm so bad at this but apparently not as bad as i used to be <laughs> i already filmed um, this sunday's video uh, it's not a haul not a haul this time um what i did i filmed organizing my uh, handmade ephemera and such and project because it, it was getting out of control i had so much so i sort of organized my um ephemera pieces it's going to be a lovely video to watch and then i found some really old pieces that i made years ago and one of the projects um had a circle on it that i had to hand cut <laughs> it's it wasn't. It's not a pretty sight, I can tell you that. So that's finished. Let's open this one up. Not doing anything to this. I need something here, right? We do. I think I want to have one of these on here. I'm taking up my big scissors. Just cutting out the label. That's really, really crooked. There you go. Now these labels are sort of white-ish, not really. Um, so I'm doing a lot of inking for it to stand out a little bit more against the sort of white page. And I'm going to put it here. I'm not going to glue anything on it. I'm probably going to be stamping on it. Do not know for sure. Might change my mind. But for now I'm leaving it blank just to see if we can put anything in later. There you go. 
<clears throat> Does this need anything? This one and um, and something. We can do this. Well, actually, I want to have this on here, so it's on the same page. So let's not do this one. Or I have another one of these. Oh yeah, that's nice. Really? Is that nice? Because you're going to cover up all of this. And that's no nice. That is just no nice. What if we sort of flip it? Oh, what if we make a tab? You cannot make a large tab, love. Let's make a tab on the top then. Can we? Yes, we can. We cannot make a tab here because um, it closes up here. See, we improvised a tab. There you go. And here we are. Is it crooked? Of course it is. There we go. Putting a little more ink over here. Will that look nice? Oh, it looks so lovely. Looks so lovely. We can do some stamping here. <clears throat> Opening it up. We had a pocket here. I do want to have a little something here, right? Like what? No. Like something. Do we want this? No, I want to have this over here, I guess. What then? Oh, that looked nice. Yes, let's have that one. <clears throat> I might need to print out more. <laughs> I'm using so much. Are we going to have it stick out? Yes, I'm even going to have it stick out. Why not? Why not? Don't put glue on here then. Oh, I'm sorry. It needs to be lower. Careful. Otherwise I will glue the whole pocket down. Um, am I going to put anything here? Big old label. Smaller one. Oh no, one of these for sure. Oh, I have one left here. Yes, that looks lovely. Just over here. Now let's do the top envelope. This one, is this dry? Yes, it is. This one over here. So my idea for this one is absolutely this label because it goes very well with the blue. Yes. Um, and I want this to have sort of a tab. I'm going to use this one. This is backed uh, with, well, coffee dye print. Um, I just printed it double-sided. So I think I'm going to have this here. But I also want to have sort of a tab on this one. So I was thinking to put this here. Yeah? Sure. Sure, love. I'm, I'm going to put the glue here. Otherwise, I will not know where to glue. I'm not gluing on the part that is the window, not on the acetate. So I'm going to put this here. There you go. I'm going to put this one here. I'm just having it stick out. Again, why are you gluing then on the part that is sticking out? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have it stick out a little bit. And then put this one here. How will this look? No, this needs to be higher. Yeah, yeah.
there you go. Um, I will stamp on this most likely and then probably stamp on this or and do something like this. Oh, that looks so lovely. I was quickly checking if this was on camera because it's now a very long project. There we go. And it will need a small card. Do we need something here? Not right now. What we do need is something here. I want to make another pocket here. I was thinking to use the postcard, but it is a little bit too big. So I need to trim it down. That's okay. We can do that. Just going to take a bit off. There you go. Will I make a notch in it? No. No, I'm not going to. Round corners? No. I have not round corners on anything, love. So do not start rounding corners now. It's just going to be everything straight for now. Strip a glue here, strip a glue here, and here. These pockets will not have gussets. It's just it's just gonna hold one item probably. This on here, sure. Actually, it would have been lovely if this was this was like a postage stamp. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat, guys. I'm sorry because that really needs a postage stamp. In blue or teal or something bluish teal is well that is a perfect color are these two no so yeah i cheated i put something else on here other than the kit now if you don't have poster stamps but you have the kit print this one out and then just you know cut out the poster stamp Ta-da! Could have done that. But I don't have a second one of these uh, prints. So this goes here. This goes here. Did we do something here? Oh yeah, we did something here. And we're going to stamp here. Does this need anything? Smallish. Yes. Something smallish. There you go. Not upside down, love. Like so. Perfect. Uh, we did this, 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 this. We did this, this. Um, we did this. And this. Did we do everything? I think so. I think so. I think I'm done with the embellishing... With all the bits and bobs that we have lying around. Really? You don't want anything here? No, no, no. That's, that's no. No fun. That's no nice. Keep it like this. Great. Now what I want to do is make small journal card tags and such to go in all the pockets. Let's make some cards. Now, I printed these smaller. And also back them with, you know, just something nice other than white. Yeah. Uh, I think I want to have this one over here. Yes. And then with a tab, let's see how far this will go. Like so. And then we can put a small tab on. And I was thinking to have this as a tab. How does that look? Cute, right? Yeah. Um, I am, however, going to round corners on this one. Just to sort of help them slide in. Now, I could decorate the, the backs of these. Mm, not going to, but by all means, decorate the backs. Maybe I will at a later date, but I still have so much to do. So, we're going to put this on here. This is also backed with something, which is actually the same. 
that's a shame. Don't I have another one with another print? No, no. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Let's see what was the top and what was the bottom. There you go. Just going to put them on like so. See? And then when you slide it in. This will stick out, but it will not stick out farther than the uh, journal. That is very important. Otherwise, it will get damaged. I have another pocket over here, a taller one. Let's see what will we have in here. And this one. Or... Thinking this one, but it is too wide, so I need to make it smaller. I will do this from both sides. Will it fit now? Let's just have a look. Yes, it does. Perfect. I am again going to round corners and think about a um, tab. I'm going to think about it while I'm inking. Aren't these lovely? They look completely different when you print them out much uh, smaller, right? It's like a completely new piece of ephemera. That's why I love the sort of option to print to to a page or whatever you. There you go. Right. We need a tab. What are we using? Let's see. That's way too big, love. Shall we use this one? Will this look nice? Let's have a quick look. I think it actually will. Is it backed? Yes. So I'm going to glue it over Leon Michaud. Whoever that may be. Leon Michaud. That's too bad, <laughs> because I really love that, but hey, I'm sorry, Leon. Fantastic. Just some stamping here, and then we're done there. Um, on the inside, I am not going to make um, tags for this just yet. I don't think I will. I want to concentrate more on the sort of envelope thingies. So I want to have a card inside here. What do we have? We also have one more of these post-it stamps, right? Post-it cards. Will that look nice? I think so. Yes, I think it will. I think it will. However, I printed this on um, normal copy paper. Does this fit? No. Does this fit? Yes. So I'm just going to glue it to something else just to back it because this is way too flimsy to just be uh, on its own in there. You could. You could also put it in there just to sort of decorate it somewhere else in the, in the actual journal. I'm just going to put this here and here. Just, you know, to back it. I am using my paper trimmer because that will much straighter and this was just um, a scrap that I had lo left over from yesterday the problem is I rounded the corner now I need more car corner rounding <laughs> Now I actually should leave this dry underneath a pile of books, underneath something heavy, so that it won't curl up. However, I don't have the time for this. No. How will it look? Oh, 
Awesome. Yes. Done. Now I have a big pocket here and I already made something. This big one, it is the perfect size. Rounded the corners, inked all over it. It does need something here. Like a label. Do I have something? I'm going to flip it over. I'm even going to flip it over. Just a big journal card. Now there's nothing on the back. I didn't print it uh, double sided. Uh, but it is on heavier cardstock. So I don't feel the need to glue something on it. But I would have preferred it to be in a different color than white. But hey, you cannot have it all, love. There you go. It also cannot have a tap because it is way too small here. So it will just fit in here. There you go. Then... We have this pocket to fill. I rounded corners on all of these and inked all of these. Well, most of them just to save on a little bit of time, lovies. Uh, the small envelope. I was thinking this one because it's lovely and blue. Yeah. And then another small one. Just these two. These two lovies. There you go. Just like so. Very simple. Pull this open. And then we have this big one. Um, let's have a look. I have a couple of these big ones. Is this the same? Yes. Well, this is the same, but then in a smaller version. So I'm not going to use that one. Um, probably this one. And uh, let's do um, oh this one. Two of these tall ones. There you go. One here, one here. And, and a label. Because I have loads of these. And I just want to sort of... Put them here and there. Right? Yeah, we always have always have one here, one here. Then uh, what do we have here? We made a lovely pocket here. And then we have this one. Does that one work? Yes, it's not this print, not this print, and not this print. There you go. Here you are. This one is the same. So we're not using this. Let's put in something smaller. We have this beautiful label, and this says something. Who knows what it says? Um, anything else? Maybe, maybe this one. Sure. We have a large pocket here. I have an idea for that. I have three of these. Yeah. Um, and I want to make something with this because I can just put it in, cut it to size and put it in. But I just want to do something different with them. One of these ones has a backing on it. So I am going to use this one. What I want to do is sort of fold this up to make a new pocket. But then sort of in the length that it will still fit in. Let's do it like so. I'm sorry if you hear some noises. Um, they are cutting down some branches in the park. And that is next to my house. There you go. Will this fit? Hopefully it does. Yes, it does. But now it will need a tab. Will that work? Yes, because we have a little bit left, a little bit of room left. Okay, first I'm going to do inking. Snipping corners, first snipping corners, of course we are. One here and one here. And then also on these ones. So yes, we're going to have a pocket within a pocket. Do it the right way, lovey. Just, you know, this is the way you cut it. Thinking this. Uh, 
just in case we don't have enough pockets. We do actually. There are so many pockets in here. But you know, that's what we wanted. Flippy floppy thing thingies. There you go. Right. Inked it. Gonna make a pocket. Yes, it is up. This is upside down, but that's okay. Come on, Art. There you go. Another pocket. Of course, I'm gonna put one of these labels on here because of really, really pretty. Don't need art for this. Just gonna use my glue stick. I'm gonna put it here because all the numbers are upside down. That I'm I'm okay with it. Um, but maybe I want to stamp something here. So yeah, this will fit in here. Like so. I want to have a tab on it, but I'm going to make a tab, I think, with my tab punch or something like it. So I'm going to leave it for now. Did we put this one, this one, this one, this one? Wow. Um, we have this one. Yeah. I have this piece left. Yeah. Uh, what I want to do is make sort of a tag, but I'm going to fold it in on itself. So that is much sturdier and it does have a backing. There you go. Yeah. I'm just going to glue it down. I'm hoping this noise will not be very dominant on, on the video. It's an odd time for cutting down branches and trees, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. Now. It's not straight, but that's okay, because I'm going to use my paper trimmer to make it straight. I'm going to take off a little bit on the top. A little bit on the side, and then also on the bottom, just a tiny bit. Will it fit in the pocket? Let's see. It will. And I'm just going to have it as a real tag shape. Um using this one no i'm just gonna eyeball it well sort of eyeball it cut this off flip it over put it on the other side and then i'm gonna do this there you go big old tack You want to put something on, love? Yes, I actually would like a hole reinforcer. Now, what I did do, and hopefully I can still find it. Yes, I um, got one of my smaller, this is a half inch circle punch. Punched something out, one of the circles. And I'm going to just put it on there. And then I'm going to get my copper dial or another device that makes small holes and then punch a hole in it yeah that's one so i'm making my ho own hole reinforcers now i have no clue where the center is of course i'm eyeballing the center i think i want the center to be over here Tada! Good enough for me. Yep. Does it need something? Well, you have a gazillion of these labels. So apparently it's going to use a label. Because there's lovely stuff on the uh, on the outside, on the on the other side, on the outside. On the back, I'm just going to flip this one over. There you go. Big tag. In doing so, I am covering up uh, almost all of Sophie. 
but that's okay. And let's have um, this little card in there as well, just as something extra. There you go. Lovely. Something for this one. I am thinking about doing the same as I did with the other one. Yeah, so I'm going to round corners, ink it and fold it up. I made this one. Yes, I just I folded it up, made it into a pocket, put this on here. And then I have two of these small cards that I put in here. So it's going to go. It's going to live over here in this pocket. There you go. Oh, did I ink this side? Well, if you did, you didn't do a very good job. So, yes, over there. And now I believe we have one more pocket, this one over here. Um, I still have this one. I put this one on as a tab. See? There you go. Just like so. Let me close it. Yes. It is perfect over there. Did we do all the pockets? I did not do the, the tall pockets. Um, I'm not going to do them. Not going to do them. We did this one, this one, this one. This one. Yeah, we did everything. We did everything. Now, I still have all of this. But I also still have all of this. Now, what I'm not going to do, guys, I'm not going to do the entire journal. I'm just going to make a small collage on this page and a small collage on this page. And I also want to do some stamping. So I am quickly going to check how much time I have left to do some lovely stamping. Because of limited time and I really didn't want to just stamp here and there, I really wanted to finish this in a nice way. Uh, I decided to do a flip through of all the sort of finishing touches that I did on this project. Yeah, like adding a closure with this lovely teal colored sari silk. What I did, guys, I just put it underneath uh, the binding here. Yeah, but well, we did this so so that it will stay in place, sort of. Well, let's start at the beginning. Yes, I did stamping. I stamped here and I stamped here and here and. I stamped sort of everywhere. Yeah, so we have this flap. This was an envelope. Yeah, flap it open. And we have a lovely card in here that is condemned, apparently. <laughs> I just thought it looked nice. Um, I put this label on the back. Why? Because um, when you flip it open, you could see it. And I just wanted to have something here. And then over here we have this lovely envelope, flip uppy thingy. I stamped here, I stamped here, 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 here. I used, yes, a uh, salvaged patina because of the color. I thought the color did look very nice. See? Then we fold this open. I did all the stamping here on this envelope. And flip it open. Also um, added this small card. Guys, I finished everything. I added everything, uh, all the small bits and bobs, and I had uh, three small scrap pieces left, and I also added it in here. So did some stamping here and here. And then I also, yes, I also decorated a little bit the journal itself. I put tabs on here, and I put some nice decorations with stamping on the pages. See, like so, here and there. Another one here, made a label, it says luggage with one of the scraps that I had left. Of course, this big label again. I made a belly band. I just had the strip left and I was like, I do not want to throw it out. It's cute. So I stamped something on it. It's a belly band now. Some decorating, some stamping here with a label. Um, I did something over here, did nothing here, but that's okay, you don't have to do it everywhere. Another one here and there. And the lovely tabs, of course. I used nearly every bit, <laughs> yes. Then I'm going to flip this open first. Yes, we have this sort of fallout. No, this needs to go over here. Yes, this, this first. <laughs> the small blue envelope. I put all sorts of stamps on it. Did I stamp the back? No, I didn't. Added two small cards. Oh, I needed to stamp something here. I forgot. I'm going to stamp a number here. Yeah. And then we pull this down. Stamped here, 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 here. Everywhere. Loved it. 
uh did some stamping here we have these lovely cards and also did some stamping over here and there we go lots of stamping oh and of course this big old card here yeah um no didn't do anything to it no it was good as it was then this lovely lady flips out you can put a tall tag in here yep and then i did some stamping here and then you fold this out then you have another sort of pocket with lovely stuff in here this poster stamp on a postcard i did not do any stamping on this because already very pretty neither did i do any on this one um i did do all sorts of stamping here 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 and here very lovely then we take this one out see these were the there are a couple more in here these were the only sort of scraps that i had left but i did like them so i thought well put it in there maybe you can use them in collage and such we made a pocket inside of a pocket yeah just cute put a tap on it for the tabs guys i used my tap punch so this goes here then we close this up we have the lovely large tag here i did put a stamp here on the lady and there you go yes and then this envelope i stamped all sorts on here because i just was you know i was busy stamping so why not stamp a lot and then i put a tab on this one as well with the two lovely cards it, it just didn't need anything else. So, there you go. Yep, this was already lovely. And then all the way to the back. Yep, I added this. Did some stamping. Also did some stamping over here. And on the small tab that we made. And there you go, when you open it up. Stamping here, here, here. And then this one says tickets did some stamping here it is just all sorts of loveliness it could do some stamping here so much stamping right but you know i think i think that's it come on fall back that's it guys finish the project oh my <laughs> this was so much work but i absolutely love it it is an absolute a complete journal yeah because it has all sorts of pages in here Flippy flappy pockets, uh, journal cards, tags. You can do whatever with this. You could do whatever. It's sort of a travel journal. I think it's sort of a travel journal. But that's it for today. Guys, I really hope you liked it. It was a lot of work, but I really enjoyed it. And the end result could be me. But I think it's absolutely stunning. I really, really, really love it. So normally I'll be, I say I'll see you in a day or two. But I'll be back again tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. I'm going to do a very simple, easy tutorial that anyone could follow. Relaxing. Mostly for myself, guys. <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.